Welcome to Design and Technology. This is an IB um, diploma course and it's part of the Group for Sciences Options Group. If you're thinking about studying design and technology at IB level, um, the course will provide you with a number of opportunities to develop critical thinking and designing skills. Um, you will be doing lots of models, creating prototypes, as well as solving real life problems. Typical future careers that students um, do follow if they want to continue with a design course at um, university or college. They go on to be product designers, fashion designers, architects and even engineers. The IB course does lend itself to many of the topics and skills that you might have already developed from GCSE, RM and graphics. Topics that are similar to GCSE are included in the green box on this page. They are, include modelling, looking at sustainability, working with a variety of different materials, including textiles, wood, metal, plastic and glass. You will be continuing to write design brief specifications and working to clients' requirements. Many questions we do get um, include, can you still take this subject even if you didn't do GCSE at um, DT at GCSE? The answer is yes, it is possible. However, it will be a little bit more challenging because you don't have that base knowledge. Um, this would be uh, looked into it in terms of a case by case um, situation and we will need to be looking at science um, GCSE results as well as any art or any other DT subjects. Um, it is a lot of work and it is one of the biggest um, projects um, and courses in IB. Um, another question that we get is um, are there different DT courses like uh, GCSE? The answer is no, there is only one DT course and it does cover um, a number of different skills. There isn't a graphics um, IB course and there isn't an RM course, it's just called design and technology as a whole. There are many approaches to learning that we cover in the IB course. The main ones that we do cover are critical thinking, collaboration and communication, and of course, creativity and innovation. The way that we incorporate these into the course are that we use a lot of collaboration and communication skills as we get students to work together on projects, to collaborate with exam questions, to communicate their ideas to each other, as just as the real world would work. Um, obviously, as it lends itself to the subject, we do base a lot of work around creativity and the innovation of new ideas. We encourage a lot of hand sketching, different presentation techniques and computer generated um, design and manufacturing methods. We use OneNote to be able to extend um, critical thinking and use a variety of different thinking routines to be able to encourage students to think a lot more critically and to extend their answers, answers which are really, really useful for um, 9 and 10 mark questions which are presented to students in their examinations. You can either opt for the standard level or the higher level versions of this course. If you were to opt for the standard level, you will do two examinations and a coursework, which is known as the internal assessment, which is worth 40% of your overall grade. If you decided to opt for the higher level, you will have three examinations and once again, the IA as well, but you'll have more sections of the IA to complete in comparison to the standard level. Both subjects are taught um, together, so both standard level and higher level students will be taught at the same time, usually four hours a week, um, which are double lessons. There isn't a quite requirement in terms of um, a minimum expected grades to study the um, SL level, that is a level five, and a grade six or equivalent for um, higher level. Here is more of a breakdown of the individual examinations that you will sit. So there are three papers for HL students and two for SL students. Paper one is a multiple choice paper with standard level students 
having a paper which is 45 minutes long and higher level students having a paper which is one hour. This is because there are um, a few more questions which have higher level content within that paper. Paper two is longer based questions and all students sit the same examination and now that is an hour and 30 minutes long. Paper three is only sat by um, HL students and only is um, covering the four topics that HL students do and that is once again an hour and 35 minutes. All exams are taken at the end of year 13. As well as the examinations, you have to do an internal assessment or known as IA. This is worth 40% of your overall grade. Standard level complete um, four different sections of the IA, sections A to D, um, with a maximum of 38 pages and 3,000 words. Similar for higher level, you have to complete four sections, but you have an additional two sections as they focus on the commercial production of this product. You have more page allowances as well as words. A little bit more information about the internal assessment. Um, it is a portfolio of work, so similar to coursework that you would have um, done in year 11, but it's more written as a report. Um, and we use Microsoft Word and not PowerPoint. There is a higher emphasis on designing, testing, experimentation, and modeling in this report, which is why you have a Word cap. Um, it's more of a wanting the um, IB wanting to see you experimenting with different concept modeling techniques. Unlike GCSE, you actually get to choose your own project title and you will once again produce research, research uh, a range of different design ideas, modeling, CAD um, prototypes, as well as a final prototype. The final prototype would either need to be manufactured at school, so not in class time, or to be outsourced to a professional manufacturing company. This is where obviously additional costs would need to be um, applied. The reason for this is that you do not get assessed on the final product within your coursework. In GCSE, you have a whole section dedicated to the final um, product. In the IA at IB level, you actually don't get marked on the final prototype at all. And students often find they don't have enough time to complete the product out of class time. So a number of students do tend to get the um, their chosen product outsourced or made by another company um, with additional charges, as then they can then use it for section D, E and F for their internal assessment. Here is a breakdown of what you're going to be taught in each year. So year 12, you are taught the first six topics. These are the SL topics. So by the end of year 12, you would have covered the whole of the core or SL topics. The term one, you'll be looking at factors, um, human factors and sustainability, and you'll have then an end of term one assessment. Term two, you'll be looking at concept modelling. So this is where you'll be learning about different um, sketching and rendering and modelling techniques, which lead on nicely to topic four, where we discuss in a lot more depth about different materials. That leads on to um, an end of term two assessment, and then the um, IA will be introduced to you and the format of that. Term three then commences with topic five and topic six, which then ends with year 12 mock exams. If you decide to um, take the HL unit, over the summer you will be expected to do some topic seven and eight work, and all students will be expected to continue with their IA. In year 13, very, very similar. Term one, we complete the whole of the IA, continuing the, the remaining sections, um, and the IA um, the HL students then start their um, their HL topics for topic nine, which is branding. In term two, topic ten, which is production processes. In term three, um, there isn't a lot of time in term three, so we tend to focus on revision, and then there will be the end of year examinations. 
The following pages show a number of different examples of student work. Students will use Microsoft OneNote to complete their lessons, type up their notes and collaborate with other students on exam questions. We incorporate critical thinking techniques to be able to push and extend students to answer questions with enough detail which are reflective of examination questions. Um, students not need to worry that there will be practical lessons incorporated um, into the course so it's not just all theory work. We want students to be able to showcase their um, creativity which um, preps them for when they start their internal assessment project. We provide students with additional support materials to guide them throughout their two years. These include a revision guide, access to revision websites, um, teacher PowerPoints and video links. Obviously they have their own OneNotes for their own um, notes and opportunities to collaborate with other students. And there are chances to attend um, workshops and industrial visits. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to um, email myself, Miss Easton, or message me on Microsoft Teams.